All right, so the instructions I say, or I have say, to boil some water and put the thermometer in and see what the temperature is. So there it is, my phone is fogging up. Um, Celsius, it's exactly 100 degrees. So apparently, uh, something about the syrup, oh, here we go. To compensate for the effect, blah, 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 the boiling point of syrup that has a sugar content of 66% will be four degrees Celsius above that temperature. So 104 degrees, I have to get the syrup up to. It is uh, almost 8.30. It's about 12 hours since I started. I am super tired. Um, I am hopefully in the final stages here of um, making this maple syrup. Not final stages, but <laughs> maybe a few, just a few before that. <laughs> um, I've got the syrup on a nice boil now. This is what it should have done all day, and this is why it took me so long um, on the barbecue. Uh, for whatever reason if it's old or I don't know what um, the heat didn't get up very high and so my sap never really did this um, which it should have hang on I'm just gonna trim off this fan for a second um, sorry about that so it should have been doing this all day and it wasn't it was just you know at a really really low simmer and so that's why it took so long for it to evaporate but I made it, finally, and um, this pot is about half full right now, and um, it's just going down. I have to wait until it starts looking syrupy and um, getting thicker. I believe that I should only have a liter or less. Um, the ratio is 40 to 1 and I believe I ended up using 38 liters so 38 yeah 38 liters so um, that should make me just under one liter which isn't very much for all this work but um, it was quite an adventure anyways and pretty interesting to see how this all goes so um, I'm just gonna keep taking off the top stuff and watching the color change I don't know if you can see that very well it's pretty dark in here um, but it's starting to turn a really pretty color and um, I'm just going to keep scooping off all of that kind of stuff and when it starts looking more syrupy and getting down to about a liter then I'm going to use my thermometer and put it in there and when it gets to 104 degrees that's when it's done and then I'm going to bring it over here and pour it in these cute little jars. Well, it's 9.30. <laughs> um, I've been, uh, ooh, got a sunburn. I've been going at this for um, about 13 hours now. And uh, just put the thermometer in to check it again. Uh, it has to say 104 degrees. And right now it still says 100. Okay, I'm super excited because my thermometer is reading 102. I'm really, really close to hitting that perfect temperature. I just tried a little bit on a spoon. It was pretty good. It tasted a little bit watery. I don't know if it thickens when it cools or how that works exactly, but all I know is that when this thing says 104, I'm taking it out. It's a beautiful color. <laughs> and, um, Wow, it's 9.45. It's really, really close. Sorry, it's really hard to get this and this in there. <laughs> yeah, I actually pulled up a chair to the stove <laughs> because I'm so tired standing up and watching this stuff. Uh, well, it was 102. Took it out, waited a few minutes. Don't want to burn it. 
all this time. Could you imagine? I would be so upset. <laughs> anyway, um, it's still 102. I'm gonna have to wait. delicious. Wow. Alright, come on 104, let's go. Oh, it's so good. I'm so happy. Wow. It's 10 o'clock, 5 to 10. It's been a really long day. <laughs> it still says 102. Still looks like a lot so I mean not a lot I wish I could have it all but I'll just give it a couple more minutes and see all right it's really really bubbling now it's going up the thermometer <laughs> waiting all day for it. Didn't realize it only happened at the end. All right. One of three. Well, I'm super excited. It just hit 104 and I got a couple photos of it. It's pretty darn close if it's not exactly there and um, I am super happy. This is done. My maple syrup is finished. Poured the syrup into those two. Um, I'm not very good at pouring out of pots and I wasn't spilling a drop so um, I did not record it. Um, I just have a little bit left in here and I'm gonna pour these out into two of the jars so that I can uh, get it out of the pot. Well, there they are. Four beautiful, teeny tiny, 200 milliliter jars of maple syrup. It actually looks um, reddish. Really weird. Um, and it's in front of a mirror, so you're seeing eight jars because it makes me feel better for the 14 hours of work uh, today. <laughs> Well, look what I made from a tree. It's a really cool experience. I think it was neat and um, I'm pretty excited to have this deliciousness for breakfast tomorrow. Uh, maybe I'll make some French toast, maybe I'll make some pancakes, I don't know. But um, I'm looking forward to having this and uh, trying it out and enjoying it before it disappears, which will be very soon. <laughs> Good morning. Well, the people have spoken and French toast is the winner, but a couple people had a very good idea and they said, why not make both? So I think I might do that. Two strawberry pancakes, one piece of French toast. Good morning. I am super excited. I'm about to try my homemade maple syrup. And uh, I think this is actually the first time I've ever had homemade maple syrup that I can remember. Um, so that's even more exciting. <laughs> um, so I made one piece of French toast and one strawberry pancake. I actually have another pancake, but I wasn't sure if I could eat both. So, oh, it popped. So yesterday when I put the syrup in the jar, it had said to dump it upside down um, to sterilize the lid, um, which I think that did because it just popped. So, cheers everyone. It's not very thick. Hmm. It's a 
should I? I guess so. <laughs> you guys know me, I clean my dishes by licking my plates, so. Which one should I try first? <laughs> um, well, French toast won the poll, so I will try the French toast first. There we go. Mm. I'll put a little bit of cinnamon on here. I thought actually most people would pick plain pancakes because um, I want to just keep eating it. <laughs> um, because that way the taste of the syrup would come through, but they did not. They picked French toast, so um, I'm going right to the heart of the pancake here. Cheers. Mm. It's really, really good. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go eat this before it gets cold. Um, it's really delicious, and um, I'm really proud of myself for uh, making uh, this maple syrup and um, con continuing through the process. There was a few times yesterday where I was like, this is never gonna get done. Um, Excuse me, I am exhausted today. Uh, it was a really long day for me with um, my concussion recovery. So um, today I'm just going to take it easy and uh, enjoy the rest of this. Well, not the whole thing, but enjoy this and um, kick back and relax and uh, be proud of myself. So I hope you enjoyed the video and videos and um, the vlog and uh, it inspired you to maybe try to do this sometime and if you've already done it or if you do it all the time wow kudos to you because it is quite the process and uh, I'm um, I'm in awe of people who who do this regularly <laughs> it's quite a lot of work but definitely well worth it bye mm.